to be a part of something bigger? Have you ever wanted to have a burrito laced with loco? Well, I have everything you need. These beans are for my nuclear storage. That's why they don't have a label. They're really secretive. And we'll use them. First off, we'll open the refried beans. You might be wondering what kind of refried beans these are. <laughs> you just have to wait and see. So basically, you take some refried beans, really good ones, pop them in the pan. God damn it. <laughs> well, sometimes we need to use a spoon. Because obviously, the pan is built for some kind of primordial apes. Into the pan we go. First of all, obviously any, any master chef like myself would need to turn on the oven. <laughs> Let's uh, turn it on high. Obviously I spilled some beans all over the floor. Let me pretend those didn't go there. Look at this action. Well, there seems to be nothing going on. Second of all, we have our main ingredient. The brew blue. The brew loco. The blue hurricane. The main ingredient. Um, as you can see, the beans are cooking them themselves. We gotta just add a smidge. As the four logo turns more green, you know that the cooking process is on its way. Uh, we might need to turn the heat up a bit. We got more water in the pan than I would enjoy. To make a real good blue hurricane burrito, you'll need to let most of the four logo evaporate out into the room, thus uh, filling your house with a aroma that is out of this world. Uh, we will soon be making the burrito and uh, adding our seasoning to our meal because there is no such thing as a good Blue Hurricane burrito without seasoning. If you uh, would look over here, you can see that the Four Loco is, is definitely uh, making some action in your uh, shot here. Uh, definitely starting to smell it's that's how you know that the uh four logo is really taking effect into the beans that's that's what we're trying to do we have our finely crafted seasoning here uh made from the finest grains in the land i've actually been passed down from the gods at mount olympus themselves they've it, they're very old and very well grown they will be added into the meal. We sprinkle them about because their their essence is so needed in this meal. Um, mix them about, and uh, it seems that everything is in place here. Uh, the meal is looking just natural, uh, exactly how we would want it to look. Uh, great. Whoop. Now really take take uh, notice of how the spatula sinks into the water like this. This is what you're trying to achieve when cooking this. You would like all the seasoning to get mixed in. You don't want your beans unseasoned. At this point, yes, these are still beans. They might not look like it, but yes, they are. They, they are a beautiful bean mix something you see in a, a beautiful, beautiful movie. Something you see on a cooking show. I usually gotta hide my face when I cook because a lot of people want to know who I am. They want me in their kitchen. I don't have the time. I don't have the time to cook a beautiful meal for everyone. I'd like to, 
but I don't have the time. We want the loco in and we want the water out. This, if you follow these easy steps, you just need refried beans. Get, the older the better. Get them from the 40s, the 30s. Get them in. The green, refried beans are always good, regardless of the year. Get those in there. The four local is the key, though. You've got to get the blue hurricane. It's, it's kind of, that's what starts the storm inside the pan. You've got to, the refried beans, older the better. The seasoning, you throw in your favorite things. Throw, you look in the cabinet, you're like, oh man, what do we got here? we got the right things. You want some seasoning? Throw it in. You don't care? Garlic. Cumin. Whatever you need. It will start a storm inside the plate. You need this. It's crucial. It's key. You're cooking. My God, it smells good. Sometimes you get the pan real close to your nose. And that is a good smell. Now, at this portion, we're going to turn up the stove a little bit more. You want to cook the water out of the Four loco. This recipe has been passed down from family to family to family. You may be saying, oh, I thought Four loco was a new thing. It's not. It's been around. It's been around since the 1800s. It's been around since medievals walked the land and slayed men and brought down castles. Like We've been cooking the thing. same recipe ever since. Little messier than I remember, but it seems to be looking just fine. It's almost cooked. We'll call it cooked. All right. So we turn off the burner. Do not leave the burner on. I've made this mistake never before. All right. It seems the pan is very hot and we must scrape away the beans. Mm-mm-mm. Returning to normal consistency once again. Beans in bowl. Beans in bowl. An immense amount of concentration is needed at this part of the step. You don't want to dump it in a bowl like some fancy chef would. You'd rather spoon it. Whole ladle by whole ladle. Next, you will set your beautiful creation on the counter. Alone. Next, you proceed to grab a clean spoon. Don't be that guy who uses the same spoon for everything and licks it and puts it back and licks it like every chef you see in a damn show. You take a prompt amount of nice beans. These beans are the golden gods of your life. Place them above. You don't want too many beans. But then again, you don't want too little. A little bit extra there. You place this nice cheese crafted from the finest in the land across the top. Across the top. Next, onions. Everyone hates tomatoes, I guess. So we're gonna use onions, just onions. A bunch, whatever. Done. This is how you make the best food option in the world. Crafted from the finest materials in the world. Hold that baby up. Small burrito. Teeny burrito, just for a sample. Make a bigger one for your friends, your mother-in-law, anyone you love. You're better than that. You're better than this. This is just for the taste. Thank you. We're here about to try a blue hurricane burrito with my friend Ghost over here. The best thing we've had all day. If you would grab your burrito and firmly place it into your mouth, that would be great. My god, this is good. It's not all that bad.
For now, at least. Mmm. Yeah. This is the best tasting thing I've ever made. Really. It actually is. I need a damn drink. Just sick. What's your verdict? Say 6.5 out of 10. It's pretty good, but yeah, a little for, for local flavor, but not too much, but. 10 out of 10 over here. Definitely, eat this whole damn day. Definitely you can serve at uh, kids' parties. Definitely something you can serve at a kids' party. Mm -hmm. Yep. My God, this is good. Only could be me. Ah! Only could be made by friends in the kitchen. And me. This is so good. This is so good. I'm just overwhelmed. Are you surprised? I am very, actually. My blind friend ghost is always surprised. But this is the most surprising though. That's why I feel so at home. Oh my god. All the like, chilled spectators out there. In sight of such greatness. And Ghost is just pounding away at this beautiful creation. Blue Hurricane Burritos. You've seen it right here on Loco Kitchen. Best fucking thing you've seen in the kitchen. Damn straight.